What's up guys? Uh, welcome to Danemcom TV, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrities and metro stories. We have another trading news for you today. And the headline here is, DSS has gone begging to Justice Ojuku at the Federal High Court for the invention of a court by the DSS. Alright guys, please, before I go ahead to read today's news to you, if this is your first time you are watching on our channel, please there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button and then click on the bell icon beside it so as to be the first to be notified whenever we publish news in the future on this channel without you missing any news again. Now the news in details. A delegation of the SSS by its Director of Operations and Director of Legal have just formally apologized to Justice Ojuku in the office of the CJ Federal High Court for the invention of a court by the DSS. Record that the presidency, SSS, and the dead brand supporters of this government denied invention of the court on Friday. The lawyer who struck Sore with an alleged poisonous substance has been uncovered. He is a member of the inner bar and, until recently, Director of Legal Services, INEC, Ibrahim Bawa Sam. Bawa Sam is the second most senior lawyer in the prosecution team. A former petitioner has now been filed against him at the highest disciplinary committee of the bar. Alright guys, this is a little article coming in now over the DSS Director of Operation and Director of Legal. As the news has it, they have gone to begging to the CJ at the Federal High Court because of the invention to her office by the DSS. Many Nigerians are not happy. There are many news going around the globe Concerning this issue of invasion in the courtroom, the sanctity of Nigeria. Meanwhile, we have to read to you some of some tips of comments over the concerned Nigerians on what they think concerning this issue, because this is very, very outrageous. The United Nations delegates are upon it. Many Nigerians, lawyers, and other high class society of the country are in bitter mess because of such outrageous acts by the DSS invading into the court premises to rearrest Omoire Sowere. It is a very bad omen to the whole world. We have many different opinions in regard to the news and we plead you also to drop your comments. Let us know what is your take on this. And here are some of the comments we have here, and we're going to read some of them to you. This is coming from Daniel Bonner. Daniel Bonner said, The DSS apologized to Justice Ojuku in the office of the CJ Federal High Court. I don't believe it. That is impossible. And if it is real, that is not good enough. The DSS should go to national TV and apologize to Nigerians openly, then and only then Nigerians will forgive them. You see what we are saying concerning opinions of others. And we also have some more comments. This is coming from Rafael Akachi Okoro. He said, if this is true, all the DSS officers and barrister Bawa Sam, who desecrated the sanctity of the Federal High Court, must be arrested and prosecuted. Talkless, toothless apology is not enough to remedy the treasonable crime they committed against the sanctity of the court. No one is above the law. That is his own take. This one is coming from Kenneth Onyebuchi. Kenneth Onyebuchi said, May God Almighty identify all of you one by one. And the identity of the person is not discovered. Maybe later, when this atrocious is over, he may be needed to clarify certain things 
the DSS has messed up the whole jurisdictions and the whole war is even against the DSS of Nigeria, even against Buharia for such act in the sanctity of Federal High Court at Abuja. This is also coming from advocacy integrity, he said. The judiciary is so unlearned that they are easily forget the price they paid to get to where they are. Therefore, without thought, they willingly and collectively throw their pride and sacred to the peaks in the gaps of unreadiness illiteracies. This also coming from Chinedu Muhammad. Chinedu Muhammad said, Nigerians shouldn't come to them that what we have now is not a government for the people, rather a group of heartless men and women with a mind to create pains, dis destructions and death for the Nigerian people. Imagine a so-called Sam in such an act. What a wonderful Nigerian we have. No wonder many people, even the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra is calling Nigeria a zoo. Really, I now see the reason to call Nigeria a zoo nation. Also, this is coming from only Banjo Michael Adebayo, he said. Honestly, this is what maturity and development is all about. It doesn't matter who you are. Apologies when you are wrong. For the ones, for once, the DSS director earlier my respect for the apologies. That is how it should be, thereby making people to believe in you or government. Why all those lies in presidency should be disciplined? Why all those liars in the presidency should be disciplined for calling for calling that a drama and a deceit, whereas there are dividuals all around the globe. Also, we have another and the last of the comment we will read to you. This coming from Adebayo Adesini. Praise God that the supremacy of God prevailed at last. There are lots we there are a lot we ordinary mortal don't understand. The Bible said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. I was once security personnel. I resigned voluntarily because God asked me to leave simply because you cannot do the will of God while you are still there. The most sudden about what happened, can you just imagine how the rule of law is being practiced in Nigeria? The unborn child should know that the beauty of the rule of law is to maintain the principles of separation of power and all security organization should know that it is the act of parliament that empowers you and if you abuse the power it is the duty of the parliament to reduce such powers mind to reduce all power minded and the world is watching and nigerians are watching also now this is coming from Madubuko. The door brain let her come out again and to defend her pair masters. We will keep a watch to see them. How she will how she will further tell Nigerians a lie. They thought we are door brain like them. They thought they don't they never know that the world is now in the global hands. There are technologies that whatever I do is being video. I don't think the cabals in the Asorok that the, that their generation did not see the the technology that is going on in this in this 21st century. That is why they thought they can come out and speak nonsense they used to do in those days, and the people or the world will believe them. They don't. They forget. There are many technologies that captures whatever you do at any minute of the day. This is shameful. The world is angry. This is coming from uh, Muhammad Babatunde. Muhammad Babatunde said, The DG, the DSS, ought to simply resign his appointment to serve the to save the service and government of the and government. It is irreparable embarrassment and 
in a sand inclined. He deserved not he deserved not that office any longer. But in Africa anything goes, mostly in Nigeria. Look at how look at what they are saying. He came DSS directors and DSS operations came to Justice Ojuku Federal High Court office to begging. Begging for what? Begging for the the act that's supposed to be a criminal act and a prosecution act supposed to follow them. This is a statement coming from this man. Alright, this is the last one we're gonna take. It's coming from this all coming from certain men and women. This is Udamaka. Udamaka said the judiciary ought to be independent of the presidency and the ruling political party. But in the case of Nigeria, the presidency and its political party detects proceedings. Why can't the MBA choose the CGN and be totally independent of the two other arms of government? What a shame. What a country. What a legacy. What a lying mood. What a zoo. <laughs> All right, guys. There are many call. There are many lots of comments here, but we have to draw the curtain for now and let you drop your own comment. Please do not forget to drop your comment. It is very important, and also we advise you to always see the red subscribing button below this video and then click on bell icon beside it, so as to be the first to be notified whenever we publish news in the future on this channel without you missing any news again. Thank you and welcome.